Shoo! All right. Well, folks, welcome back. We're going downstairs. We have not done, well, we've done some work down here. I shouldn't say I haven't done a whole lot. We haven't showed you guys a whole lot of work, but today we're going to spend the day down here redoing, redoing the utility room. So back in here, if you guys are new, this is the haunted, how's that going? Is that supposed to look like that or? Probably not. Oh, okay. <laughs> the old water softener tub, it's, it's going bye-bye. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, this is the old utility room. So this is like the haunted, yeah. So this is an old cellar. So this is like pre-refrigeration. This is where they kept the groceries. Down in the cellar, keep everything cool. Like this wall here was built up like this in around back in the day. I mean, you're talking about a dirt foundation, dirt foundation, and all of this. So couple days ago the boys came in and yanked a bunch of this stuff out so they pulled out some of the copper they pulled out the plumbing we changed everything over to pex so we modernized the utilities that we had in here and so in here was the water softener that we have a geothermal system right here um the hvac and the water heater and once we were in here and we started yanking everything apart we were like well why don't we take as much of this stuff in here and put it out there so that way you don't have to go in the cellar the basement's pretty good size we don't need the basement you know, to be wide open. We're not putting a bedroom down here or anything like that. So the only things we're leaving for right now is the HVAC and we're going to leave space to move it out. But right now I'm like, we just don't have time, right? We're on a time crunch. April 1st, this thing has to be done. So Mason, I can move in. And so we didn't want to mess with moving the HVAC, but we did take out the water softener and the water heater right here. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to frame in a new utility room. And like, so we took everything from in here, plumbing it out here, and so we'll have a room here that we can walk into, you can lock, you can walk into, that's gonna have the water heater and the water softener and pretty much everything but the HVAC. And like I said, that, that way, if you need to work on it, maintenance and check it. Um, if I'm not home and something starts leaking and Mason needs to go check on it, she don't have to come in the dungeon. All right, that's, that's the biggest thing. Ain't nobody wanna be down in here. I mean, this, how'd that go? No one wants to come down in here. So for those of you guys that are new, we they also, um, if you guys are like OG viewers of the, the main channel, you already know, but here, there's a staircase right here that we found. We actually replaced one of these treads so you can actually get up to it. So that is the bathroom. That's like the guest bathroom right in there. So you can see all the pecs right there. Hang on, let me turn on this. There it is, now you can see. So they got this all re kind of structured and framed because it wasn't quite up to code. But again, if you were here, like the first time we toured the haunted house, like we found snake skins up here. We found all sorts of nasties. Remember I crawled up here and I said, oh, I see a hand. And then I think it was Zach ran and hit his head on a bar. Roll the clip. Oh, oh, my, God. Gosh. oh my God, there's a hand right there. No. Oh my God. <laughs> Zach, Zach dipped. Zach dipped. <laughs> So yeah, that, that was this area. So we've cleaned it up. We've added some more treads to the stairs. And so we're running the packs through here. That's one bathroom right there. It runs the other one. So we're cleaning it up. But if anyone needs any bricks or anything like that, you can come check it out. So this room, we're trying to not use as much as we possibly can. And we're trying to get everything. How's that yeah, going? How's it going? You need a little light in here? No, it looks good. Oh, really? Yeah. No, this looks nice up here. I was telling him about when Zach ran out and hit his head on the, uh, oh, yeah. the post there. That was kind of funny. So anyways, that's the plan today. Avoid coming into this room just because it, I mean, like this is a, that's a deceased critter of some sort. That's a, that's, snake. that's the old bones. So there's a bunch of that. Yeah. Snakes are in here all the time. I just know if there's a complication with any of this, Macy ain't coming down here. So if I'm out of town, the house will, she'll let the house burn down before she comes in here. So I'm like, well, let's build a nice utility room out here. And that way you don't have to go in the dungeon. So how's that going? <laughs> we'll clean up, clean up on aisle three, huh? You bet. All right. <laughs> So we're gonna try framing in the new utility room. There's a black line right here. So it goes like this to here to there up. That way we get this outlet right here inside to power anything we possibly need. And so all this stuff is gonna be in here. And then this thing which we were gonna destroy and take out is not bad. I think just change the knobs. I think the knobs are throwing me off. You're never gonna see it, just for extra storage. So we, we're gonna take that and we can put that in there. So you can store anything extra, cleaners and detergents and whatever else you want. And then the other thing that was down here, this is where the old washer and dryer were. So you had the washer, the dryer, everything got plugged up and moved. You can see those guys were right over there. So those are going upstairs. Remember we made the new laundry room upstairs. When the inspector came down and said, no framing walls, I said, what are you talking about? And then we were standing right next to the newly framed wall, that one, uh, that's gonna be where the washer and dryer are gonna be. So no more washer and dryer here. 
and all the utilities here because you already have the floor drain. That's the plan. Let's get started. Right, that's what you want. Yeah. Try to work one more time. Yeah. Is that board flush on that? Barking studs. This one's the, the bad, one. The bad one. The, the tie with the axes when we're not using. Okay. So we'll mark, we'll mark some more stuff. So you may do. Yeah, we have made you now.
that corner that way. Gently on that. I've seen worse. Yeah. yeah. Whoever came up with this, pretty, pretty smart, yeah. yeah. That's a great idea. Or just a redneck who figured something out, yeah. <laughs> who put a nail in the end of the 22 day. All right, she ain't going nowhere. That's wall number one done. We got one, two, just two? Two. Two more to go. And then we can put the anchors back in. 
Um, I need a scratch that will fit a bigger nut. I don't know if you brought the set down or. You're talking in a wall here? Yeah, the yeah. yeah. concrete, yeah. Side and then one on the inside for drive. Got it. They're all the same though, cross. Yeah, 89 and a half. 89 and a half, so we yeah. cut, start cutting a bunch of them for now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
Tied up. They seem to be pulling me over there. <laughs> Almost bad like a baby cat. <laughs>
sit in this oh, right here. Okay. Oh, we got a little bit. Get that little bit four inches that way. Yeah. There we go. There go. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, much better. Fits oh. like a glove, huh? Nice. Get us. I like when the plane comes together. That fits pretty good over there, too. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. All right. Flush. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Let's go. She is framed. Look, look at this. Going up and over, and then there's this one's real satisfying. Look at this sucker. Oh yeah, right around, snug as a bug, right up in there. Nice wide door. Big door. Yeah. So this thing, I said we're planning on sliding this thing in here, and basically putting it along that back wall, so that way we have internal storage. It's free. It's not the prettiest looking thing, but it's free. So this thing is, I mean, PL it. Shot the old 22 rounds down there. This thing is not going anywhere. It's gonna be nice though, to have our own little HVAC room. And there's room here. If we do wanna move the heat and AC out, you can just basically plumb it up in there and they can sit here. So we're not gonna put anything in this corner just in case if one day we do wanna slide that out. The rest of the stuff is gonna go over here. So it is framed, completely done, framed up, ready to go, ready for a door. Is this a 36 inch door I'm assuming? So I said that's a wide door. So we'll end up hanging a, hanging a door there. But now drywall, we've got the sheets of drywall here that are ready to go. Should go relatively quick since we're just talking about big flat areas, but that's gonna be sweet. Yeah, no windows to go around, no couple, boxes. couple jogs, but yeah, no electrical boxes, which is super nice. The drywall we should be able to fly through. And now we have a brand new utility room. So no one has to go in the dungeon anymore. No one has to go in the dungeon. Stay tuned.
They were chirping us. Yeah, apparently, hey, you guys, based by, by the screw, according to the viewers last time we did drywall, but I mean, codes every foot. Yeah. I ain't trying to get no violations. We got the code. We already went through that once. Look at this utility room. Framed, drywall. We're not taping in muddy. We, uh, we're going to have someone that's professional come and tape mud everything. That way, it just looks done the right way the first time. But. We're doing this stuff. This is like, I'd call it the easy part. Yeah. Taping mud's like the artistic. That's not me. Um, so this is what it looks like over here. We've got a nice doorway here, 36 inch doorway. And so on code, as long as we don't have to put any electrical on this wall, because that might be a code violation too, we shouldn't have to put drywall on the inside, which would be not, I mean, not that it'd be hard, but it's a utility room. I don't think you need it. So if you guys didn't see, we anchored it to the concrete block here and down there on both sides. So, I mean, it ain't going nowhere. We PL'd it and shot 22 nails through the concrete. I mean, I don't know what code is, but this has to, to the floor, yeah, and it's shot up through there. I don't know what code is, but we gotta be, be above and beyond it at this point. This wall ain't Cause it, there's no way this wall's going. If anyone wants to take this out someday, that, that's a you problem, not gonna happen. So we got her all cleared out, ready to go. And uh, it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a nice little utility room. We already got the light in here. And that way, when you look at it from out here, it's nice and clean. It just, look at that. It's almost like a little bedroom back there. So, utility room, check, complete. Are we moving the cabinets or do you want to wait? We move the cabinets? Clean all this out? All right. Well, now look at the biggest test to see if the cabinet fits. cabinet what do you think about that cabinet that's a nice cabinet good. isn't it looks pretty good <laughs> you're like why'd you put this in here you guys are just, just throwing it out that's what i thought but now we've got unlimited storage for things that i don't really need storage for i don't really have anything to store but now you got plenty of room for there you still have all your stuff here again still have room for ace rack if you need it so done we got new utility room set up for now again we still got to tape mud and paint and make it all i guess we probably don't even need to paint it we just tape mud it call it a day i mean it's unfinished i mean you're really gonna be worried about painting when somebody you siding as a subfloor. I mean, I mean, come on. I mean, is, you think that, is that code? Don't don't tell tell buddy not to come down here. That's for sure. Well, oh, those are holding a lot. I, I, those are holding a lot. Well, new utility room is completed, ladies and gentlemen. It's done up. Like I said, tape mud. Um, I'm trying to think what's next. What do you what do you think is next? I feel like we're kind of at like a standstill right now with. Maybe start putting it back together. You think so? Done, done, yeah. done, done, you know. And start a floor will be coming soon because we gotta level we it. Uh, we gotta paint, cabinets, countertops, appliances, uh, sliding barn doors. Yeah, you're right, paint's probably up there paint's with, with one of with one of the next what do you think what do you think's next? Minus the little odds and ends of electrical and plumbing. What's paint. what is paint is paint the next big thing you think? We gotta set doors. Set the doors in. Set doors. Yep, we gotta get doors in and then we'll start painting the doors. Maybe. Are you gonna paint the trim on or uh, off? You mean the trim trim? Yeah. I'm they did trim. my house on. Yeah. They just tacked on and spray and then sprayed it. it. Isn't but that smarter? The downside is you gotta put your LVP on. First. Before your trim. 
They didn't there. All I know is that trim's pan and my LVP is not down. So <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll have to go. We'll have to ask those. We'll have to ask those guys. Uh, but that's that's what's next. Trim, uh, paint, doors, and like I said, then it's going to be starting to put back together really quick. Everything's going to get done up, finished, floor, carpet, furniture, fixtures, all that stuff like that. So we're getting there. I think April 1st is achievable. It's gonna be a grind, but I think we can do it. So hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, like I said, we should, should start putting it together soon now. That's kind of probably the last like big construction part. Now it's just get it back up and ready to rock and roll. So Mason and I can move here on April 1st, and then we have a little bit of time now uh, before the main house gets done. Brad thinks it's gonna be done by April 1st. I'm doubtful. So this will be our backup, and if it is, then we'll just go to the main house and then this house will just be ready to rock and roll. If not, then again, we have a place to live while the new house gets done and we can start making the videos out here at the new property that much sooner. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Peace.